Okay, so let's look at Ethereum. Ethereum, a decentralized open source platform that can create smart contracts which are reprogrammable agreements people can use with all sorts of uses. So, firstly, Ethereum is decentralized, so there's no single point of attack or failure on the Ethereum network overall. Open source, meaning that anyone can come along, look at the code, look objectively how it works, how it functions, and extract what they want and make their own own crypto on the Ethereum blockchain on the using Ethereum's technology open source anyone can come along and take it now a smart contract means that we can create an agreement if this then that and it is executed so it's activated on the Ethereum blockchain and it is hosted on the Ethereum blockchain. So it's part of the decentralized network. No single point of attack in terms of hackers and no single point of failure. So if one person fails, an error, a mistake happens, the whole network doesn't come crashing down. And these smart contracts, which are agreements between different people and different parties, if this happens, then that happens as a result and therefore it's executed the contract. Now, it uses Ethereum, or it uses Ether as a payment to incentivize machines to execute smart contracts. So why would machines on the Ethereum, con on the Ethereum blockchain want to help run these smart contracts? Ether. People have to pay in Ether what's called gas also. They buy Ether, they buy gas, and they pay it, they give it, to the machines to, the, to incentivize them to execute their smart contracts. Otherwise, the network has little incentive apart from mining to execute these smart contracts. So it's a nice ecosystem of decentralized frame, decentralized framework, decentralized, open source, nice combination. But the technology allows people to create smart contracts that allow people more functionality, more usability. And we see this in decentralized finance, in NFTs, non-fungible tokens. So these smart contracts have, case, have, have use cases. And what helps to pay for all this is Ether, which is a native token to the Ethereum blockchain. How cool is that, language explorers? Let's keep exploring.